going on guys model train one two three four here and I got a layout update today showing you guys some work I've done on the layout and some projects that I've done some new stuff that I got and some projects that I'm gonna be working on so first off is uh, what I've done and as you can see I ripped out the third track completely reason for that is because I have the double main line and there's pretty much no reason to have a third track unless it's a third main line so I ripped that out and instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a yard entrance starting there it's a number eight switch it's gonna come out to this number eight switch and it's gonna have two lines two tracks coming into the yard parallel to these and uh, the far one this one is gonna go and connect to this switch and the closer one is going to branch out and go into the upper yard and I'm going to connect it to uh, the uh, yard tracks because I'm going to make, I think, three. I'm going to try and make three more yard tracks, two more yard tracks. I'm going to try, I'm trying to, to make as many yard tracks as I possibly can without um, extending. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, also, I ripped out the double crossover here. Because um, I've been, ha I've always had trouble with that thing. Uh, it's been derailing uh, my trains, shorting them out. Uh, just have been having a lot of problems with it, and it really didn't look prototypically accurate at all. So what I did over here is make uh, the crossover right here uh, out of four Pico switches. These are number six turnouts here, and I was going to do number eight for my turnouts. Uh, for this, but uh, it would have taken up way too much space. It would have taken up like from there to there. It would have taken like five feet, I think it was. And I didn't really uh, have that much room, so I just did number sixes. And I thought it, I think it turned out pretty good anyway. As you can see, uh, there it is right there. A double crossover. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'll probably put it up on eBay for a really cheap price if anybody wants it. I don't know. I'll post a video about that. Also, I got this track from a friend. He bought this um, for his layout because he needed more track. And uh, this is what he bought. It's Micro Engineering Code 83. Uh, wood tie, brown tie. And um, this stuff is really crappy. It's really cheap. And um, if you do this, if you just bend it at all, there's no possible way you can get it uh, straight back. So... I think that, I don't know, I'll try and do what I can with it. I'll probably use this track for my yard tracks or whatever will work, I'm not sure yet. Uh, also, some projects that I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be making the vet honoring our veterans unit out of this uh, SD60M here. I gotta order all the stuff for that. One thing I'm still not sure is how to make the uh, upper ditch lights. I don't know where to get replacement uh, ditch lights and how to wire them because these are low ditch lights. And the prototype uh, veterans unit has high ditch lights. So I'm not sure how to um, get those ditch lights, but I'm gonna be uh, getting the crescent cab and I'm um, gonna repaint it and decals and all that stuff. So it should be pretty cool here. I'll be having a lot of updates on that project sometime uh, I don't know I'm hoping to get that started in the next few weeks here surely I promise won't be long before I get that started um, I also plan on getting a couple NS locomotives too hopefully some aces and uh, Jivo or something also uh, my GP 15 I'm gonna do some weathering on this because um, just uh, adding it to my yard. I fixed the uh, wiring problem, as I told you, I think in my last layout update. Uh, I fixed the wiring problem in that it was having a, a problem with the trucks picking up uh, electricity. Uh, so I fixed that. So we'll go over here to my dispatcher area. Show you some new locomotives that I got here. Got two more UP Heritage units, uh, 1996 Southern Pacific and 1995 uh, Chicago Northwestern. So I have four Heritage units now, and I will be installing DCC and sound in both of these. I got both these for about 100 bucks without sound, which I thought was a pretty good deal uh, without paying 300 bucks plus on eBay for 
uh, DCC and sound locomotives. Uh, I thought it would be cheaper to install it myself, and it is. So I got four UP Heritage units now. I got two more to go. Uh, hope, I don't know when I'll be getting those. Whenever they start, um, whenever they pop up, I'll get them. Also, the uh, my breast cancer unit, my pink ribbon unit. I think it's pink ribbon week. I'm not sure. Um, I got this done. I got the clear coat on it. I have to replace a uh, decal on that side because it ripped off there. But I got that totally done. Got the clear coat on it. The only thing I didn't put the clear coat on is that decal because I'm replacing that. I got to do that soon. But it looks really good. It's, it's done. It looks really good. Uh, I got to got get replacement handrails for it because you, you can see they're broken here. But yeah, I'll be working on replacing those handrails and stuff like that. Um, should be done in the next couple weeks. And, um, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this layout update. I'm sorry that if the video quality isn't the best. I'm recording off my iPhone because um, my camera, uh, I have my camera. It's just there's no way to get it off the camera and onto YouTube. Because uh, my computer is having problems, and I don't—I pr really don't have a computer right now, because uh, it's old. It's seen its better days, and uh, it's seen its final day. And we're going to uh, be getting a new computer soon. So until then, I'll be posting videos off my iPhone. Excuse me, but whenever that is, it should be in the next week. I'll be getting the computer. But uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.